the metal structure for the uh, wings and the control surfaces back on, they were removed for painting. And uh, we'll have to assemble the tail to the aircraft. And uh, I think that's a well, firewall. We have to design and build a firewall for it. And uh, uh, some sort of an instrument panel, what few instruments there are in there. Uh, basic cold. We were trying to come up with some sort of a, a break for it. We don't know what we're going to come up with yet, but uh, right now there's no break on it, so when you start the airplane, it's going to be uh, on its own, so to speak. The airplane originally was designed, the engine was designed to run at full power at all times. We've come up with a, uh, a design with the carburetor so we can control the RPM as opposed to just letting it run wide open. And we'll have a magneto switch on it. Uh, so we'll be able to kill it as well. The engine that we're using, it's a, supposedly, a, a, we're told, an original engine. We received it from some uh, people from France. And uh, one of the glitches we ran into with it was the engine is supposed to fit into this bay, but we couldn't fit it in there, and we couldn't figure out why. And then one of our volunteers came along and said, Here's the problem. These two cylinders, they must have had different designs with this model engine. Uh, the ones that we see in the pictures, the cylinders are at a, at a different angle, therefore uh, making it possible to fit into that compartment. Ours won't fit in that compartment, so we're moving it farther ahead and we'll uh, adapt the CG other ways to, to make it fall in within the uh, flying range to keep it safe and uh, so forth. This is the tank. Yeah, that's a fuel and oil tank combined. Okay. Uh, one third of it is oil, the other the two, thir other two thirds is fuel. And that gets mounted uh, right up here in this cradle. I'll tell you this, we built two props. The first one, what, it wasn't developing the uh, RPM that we wanted, it was developing more RPM than we needed. So that was the top one. Now the bottom one is the latest prop, and it's right within the parameters that uh, the French uh, information or manuals that we have uh, dictated. So it's, it's got the right amount of pull and right and controls the RPM adequately. And I've done other projects here for the A, the Swallow over there, and the PT3, and uh, some of the others. Now this, Adam Smith is the one that really got me, or got us going on this airplane. And at first I was a little apprehensive, but as we got into it, I was really excited and thrilled about its progress and how they did things years ago. It was really, uh, really uh, a learning curve for me.